stream audio on. Stream video on. Stream buffer thing not working but off. So whoa, 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 whoa. We're in the wrong place. This is where we need to be. Okay, hello and welcome to the stream. I really need to figure out how to do this without cutting everything off. But anyway, one day we'll figure this out. How to arrange windows in a small, uh, small environment so you can get between them quickly. You can't use Alt Tab because uh, the uh, the um, uh, actually I don't know why I can't use Alt Tab. I think it's because the VM uh, VirtualBox intercepts that. Okay, so a couple of announcements before we a uh, couple of pointless announcements before we do some pointless stuff. Um, if it uh, if you hear some stuff in the background that sounds like we're in a war zone or something, uh, that is because we are in fact in a war zone. The state of New Mexico declared war on the United States uh, yesterday. It's uh, not been a very exciting war because um, I think uh, President Trump isn't really quite aware that we're actually one of the U.S. states, and he he's kind of like you know well if they're willing to pay for the wall, just leave them alone. So that's that's you know it's not a great war. It's like one of those. Yeah, fine. It's a mini war, like the Falkland Islands or Islas Malvinas war in the 1980s, which was created to amuse us because really the sitcoms weren't that good back then. Okay, and I am also expecting, uh, you know, a delivery of some, uh, I set up a little mini hospital here. Uh, we call it mash because we have mashed potatoes, uh, which we use to, to uh, sew up the uh, people who get hurt because we don't have bandages. So that that's kind of a negative here. Uh, so I am expecting a delivery. So if I if you do hear uh, you know me talking to someone, getting something delivered, that's what's going on. I'm going to try to go ahead and stream um, through and past the delivery, if possible, or not, because I really don't give a fuck. Okay. So previously we've looked at constellations. Um, we've looked at stars moving through constellations based on what's called proper motion which is the fact that stars don't stay exactly where they are in the Milky Way. They move around. Um, and technically, our sun moves around, too, but we pretend like our sun is constant and the other stars move around. We call that proper motion. Now, last time we did it in... Usually, we do things in the easy way first, find out they don't work well enough, then do them in the hard way, and they still don't work, but then we've wasted more time. However, this time we're doing something a little bit different. This time we're doing sort of the, the exact opposite of that, uh, we accidentally did something the hard way first, and it didn't work. And so now we're going to do it in the easy way to see if it also doesn't work. And now there's enough differences here that I'm going to, for one time in my life, be somewhat intelligent and actually call this BC Constell Star 2, instead of just trying to change this and then hoping people can get pointed to the right version. So what we're going to do here is not very difficult. I mean, all of this stuff stays the same. Um, wow, even all of this stuff stays the same. Okay. Um, except the fields we want are going to be a little bit different, and they're not going to be that much different, actually. Um, instead of using XYZ and VX, VY, VZ, which is the velocity in those three vectors, um, we're going to use, uh, there's a natural field that tells you what the uh, proper motion is in right ascension and declination. <sighs> there's sort of a double whammy here. One is, of course, uh, stars don't move, you know, if you went long enough, stars don't move in straight lines along right ascension or declination. In fact, they actually can't do that because um, that would just, that would be very strange motion in the real sky. However, the motion in parsecs that we used last time for Vx, Vy, and Vz were so small, I'm worried that we lost some precision. Now, precession, which is what causes, well, precession is something different. Uh, but we lost some precision. So this might actually be better, this might be worse, and it might be the same. So now we need to go and look at what, how we, what, fields, what field numbers they are first, but also, on top of that, um, how they're, what, what units they're measured in. So let's get the, uh, the easy stuff first. Um, so it's RA deck dist, which I assume is the distance, and then followed by PMRA PMDEC. So that's going to be 10 equals PMRA. Sounds like PMS, except I don't. I was going to say something stupid after that. Never mind. We really don't need the 13th field for magnitude. We might just continue not. To, we might continue to ignore it. Okay. So that's going to be the proper motion in right ascension and declination. The distance. It's 
kind of weird pace, place to put distance. So what we are ignoring here is called radial velocity. Stars can move away from us or towards us. We're only considering their movement sort of uh, up or down or sideways through, you know, across our field of motion, either east, west, north, south, so to speak. We're not considering forward and backwards motion. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that information virtually identical. Much easier to deal with, by the way. Um, let's see, double, this is all good. And then we will use PMRA for S10 and PMDEC for... The only thing I'm worried about is the sun is not going to have a PMDEC because we, the sun is, doesn't really have a position. But I'm hoping that he was smart enough to just put that as zero or something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's the th three things we need. Um, so we're going to we're going to compute the constellation twice, once with the current right ascension and declination, and then with the uh, right ascension and declination, pretending like we had linear motion for the last uh, 150 plus years. Uh, by current, I probably mean the J2000 uh, declination and right ascension. And now that I think about it, in the last 20 years, stars have moved a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that, you know, and it might be even interesting to find out how far back you have to go or how far forward you have to go before uh, one of these semi-faint stars uh, actually um, actually uh, changes constellation. It is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so I'm going to ignore it. Um, uh, Warzone has uh, gotten a little bit nicer. Um, I think maybe they've cleared out some bodies. Um, okay, so we're going to do basically... Uh, we're not going to do three, I'm calling these aster because const is a reserve word in C. We're just going to need two of them. And the only thing we need now is to uh, figure out what units the PMRA and PMDEC are in. Um, and I'm pretty, sh oh shit. Are they also in, we're losing precision then. So they might also be actually in, um, in degrees per, oh hang on. That could be worse than that. These could be in hours and degrees per year. Okay, that's... The problem is you lose precision when numbers are that small, but it's quite possible we didn't have that preci precision to begin with. So let's see if we have the HYG data. We probably don't, but, you know. Um, the instructions up here. No. I probably need to bookmark that, although I don't know how much that'll help. So we're going to Firefox fall file, hyg, readme, da da da. And given the small numbers, I think it is going to be in um, hours or degrees per year, but let's, let's take a look. Yep. Oh, milli arc seconds per year. Okay. That does not seem correct. In fact, that might have been one of the things I corrected. Um, in the in the actual GitHub repository, that that number seems really really small. But let's take a quick look here. Um, uh, da -da -da, the sun obviously doesn't move. I mean, it does. But we pretend that it doesn't. Doesn't have a hip number either. So this is going to be the proper. That might be. What is that? That's the proper motion total, maybe. All right, so this is RA declination. Oh no, this could be in milliarc seconds. This could very well be in milliarc seconds because that is a pretty big number. Um, okay, I mean we can convert. It's a tiny, tiny little number though. And what is what is proper? Is proper the total proper motion? Uh, let's see. Oh, the common name. Okay, so I'm off by something here. Uh, hang on. So the proper name. All right. So what am I looking at here? Whatever that is, that's a very early place to be having... Oh, is that right? Oh, sorry, that's right ascension, because it's in order of right ascension. That's declination, and oh, yeah, these two numbers are definitely in milli arc seconds. Okay, awesome. All right, um, and we will make a note here, because I'm very lazy. Um, ladder 2 in... This is not... I don't think this is actually a, um, a standardized metric unit, so we can't really use it. I've seen people use MAS, but I don't think that's valid because 
I don't think arc second is a metric unit. Um, we could second is a metric unit in time. I don't know if it's a metric union unit in terms of measurement, but whatevs. Okay. So the first thing we do is find constellation for original and oh and I guess the other thing we could do is um, the con yeah let's do that sorry constellation as given in this file itself so that's why we have three values uh, and let's make a note here of what they are and you know what I think we're just in milli arc seconds uh, um, an arc second is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree uh, milli arc second is one millionth of that Um, given in file two, we're gonna do this a little bit better. Um, current RA deck precessed, um, and three RA deck of 1850. <laughs> uh, also, pre which is kind of weird actually, because we're doing two things to it we're adjusting for proper motion and then we're precessing. Um, so let me actually get the code back I had for S29. Did I get rid of it? Yes, I... Oh, no, sorry, it's down here. Um, so the from file one is just easy. Um, I'll say current RA deck. That sounds better. Okay, so... The only thing I have to be a little bit careful about here is we're... It's expecting things in radians. Um, oh, I guess we've already... Um, We've already accomplished that. All right, so it's uh, Astro 2. We're going to copy constellation name, constellation number, and it's uh, RA over 12. So we convert these degrees into um, into radians. Uh, these hours and degrees into radians. Find old RA and dec. So we'll be a little bit careful. We'll say double old RA. Um, I guess we could have also gone with an array, but we're not going to is equal to the RA minus, so here's where we get tricky. Uh, because we're talking about hours, um, it's the proper motion in RA, that's in milli arc seconds. So we need to convert milli arc second, milli arc second uh, equals what? Let's see. Well, we know that um, in hours. In, in hours. Okay, so we know um, 12 hours equals 180 degrees, so one hour equals 15 degrees. Um, one hour equals 15 degrees. Uh, we need to go way down from that. One fifteenth of an hour is one degree. Um, this is a second, and this is a milli arc second. Damn, that's a small freaking number. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and compute the inverse of that number, the the uh, the flip of that number here. All right, so we have a milli arc second in hours. Well, in degrees, it is. This just seems like it's too little. Uh, and that's in degrees, so hours per degree is 15, uh, no, 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 sorry, hours, one, uh, yeah, no, one hour per 15 degrees, that's fine, and so, I don't know, this is, this seems like a little bit too much here, um, and we are going to multiply by 150 because we are going back, uh, 150 years, the minus is why, that's why the minus is there, times 150 over this number. I could simplify that, but I'm not going to because I kind of want to be able to change 150 here. And then double old R. Uh, this, see what bugs me here is I don't think this should even make a change at all, but it, apparently it does, so I'm being stupid. PM deck times 150. Okay, now be careful. Uh, in degrees, this is a little bit different. So one milli arc second is, that's one second. That's a milli arc second, and one over that number is, I think, 3.6 million. 
That number, yeah, that number is 54 million, by the way. Um, okay, so now we can just basically... Because we computed these in hours and degrees, we can literally just do this, except with old RA and old deck. Okay. And we're not going to compute anything. We don't need to use a coordinate conversion here. Um, we're not even going to compute the old coordinates. We're going to send it just straight to... Um, yeah, that one's reasonable because we do want to keep it between 0 and 24. Um, okay, which is... there is none. Skip the sun. Wait a minute. The sun should have no constellation also. We don't need to skip it separately. Oh, mama. I think what we do need to skip uh, is the literal phrase con. Hmm. Um. I probably don't care. And this, I think, is a sophistry we're not going to do. Oh, okay, right, right, right. So now we want to compare the... Um, Okay, so what I'm actually looking for here are the, uh, the, the constellations that have changed between uh, now, just for proper motion, ignoring the, um, ignoring the one given inside of the, uh, inside of the file, for right now. And I do not want to mimic his content anymore. Um, so we want to say now, old... Uh, actually, hang on. Let's do this. File. Now computed. Old computed. Because that's kind of what we're going to go with. So the file is Aster 1. Now is Aster 2. Then is Aster 3. Yo mama. And I think that should be it. Now, there's a good chance this isn't going to run on the first attempt. And pretty good chance it's not going to run on the last attempt either. But let's just see what's going on here. Yeah. But has... Yep. That's actually not what I meant to do. I meant to put the ID in there, too. That we have to have a way to identify which star we're talking about. So, is that the token error? Wow. All right. Okay, this is an interesting... wow. The fact that there's anything in this list just amazes me. Okay. Um... I mean, the fact that the, even the tiny little move in right ascension and declination is enough to do this... Um is somewhat surprised. Oh! Hello. So I think we now need to look at um, uh, we kind of want to look at that guy's file that he that he had which I probably should have put down somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. It should be like really close to where we are right now. By which I mean I'll never be able to find it. All right, it's the HYG data issue. That's exactly what I didn't want. That's awesome. Let's see if we can find the repo. There's the repo. Let's look at the issues. Let's look at what he's doing. I wonder who runs this repo. Is it Brandon Rhodes? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. So he found a lot more. And let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
So mine is a subset. I think these are all going to be subsets. So 9820 is definitely going to be in... Oh, wow. It's not. All right. So this we're going to do pretty much to create problems, but let's go ahead and be a little bit more... Uh, let's go ahead and BC get this before I forget, because I keep doing crappy shit like that. Okay. <sighs> um, wow. I wrote that whole thing and didn't push anywhere in the middle. Oh, hang on. I'm getting... Um, I'm getting text messages that I have not... Oops. I really need to respond to these text messages. Hang on. Sorry. This is part of my delivery. Um, very, very bad of me. Um, so stand by while I do things. I did not expect things to happen this fast, but nowadays you don't complain about early deliveries. You bless them. Except I'm not religious. Um... Okay. Hang on one second here. Um, there's a war zone going on here. Okay. So, one more standby while I open the door so they can carry the, uh, cadavers and or bodies in, because we can go with either. Okay, we are back-ish, although we might have some issues. Um, they're being a little bit finicky about letting dead people through, which I tell you, um, you know how it is. Okay, so now this says if the two files are different or... Let's go ahead and actually go ahead and do this for all three of them, and then this is actually probably a lot better. Master 2, and then, of course, uh, the... Um, other case, uh, which I think it is possible for two of them to differ without all three of them differing. That would be Astro 1 and Astro 3. Um, I hate using tabs, but all of these should be just three characters, so that shouldn't be an issue. Oh, but the, um, the star length, so I could probably do um, 06D here. Um, and let's just leave it like that. And let's make it... Uh, oh, oops. Now it's a multiple expression, I have to quote the whole thing. There we go. And sorry I'm so caught up in my delivery, didn't expect it this early. But the good thing is... Ooh, apparently, someone is burning a, a street fire. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's try this again. And I'm keeping an eye. Oh shit! What? Mm, hang on. Can I code and be? And try to try. To Try to pay attention to my food delivery at the same time. Sorry, my... Ooh, shit. Okay, hang on. The answer might to this might be no, by the way. So, stir comp, stir comp, stir comp. That should only be one, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, this is this. Close off the while. 
goes off the main. Okay. And now we will have a compilation. Now we can print some results that are almost completely useless. Okay. Um, except now I kind of want to make it like comma separated values. And I kind of want to be consistent in terms of how I print constellation abbreviations. So there's always that. Um, and I think the easiest one to change will be aster1. And I think the easiest way to change it will be to use a hack, like I did last time. So it's really very much the same. Last one, one. This is very bad cheating on my part. And let me make sure my person delivering the bodies is going to be okay. Okay, it is Pomodoro time, but with all that's going on, I'm not going to do it. Um probably shouldn't even be streaming right now. But you know what? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. What did I screw up? Um. What? That should work. Hmm. Right, let me undo this to make sure that I haven't broken anything else. Oops. Commented out the comment. All right. All right. That's that. That was pretty bad. Okay. So, oh, it's minus thirty-two. Shoot. I always forget the uppercase letters come first. Plus 32 for the last one because I was changing from upper to lower. But now that I'm going the other way. That is very, very suspicious there. Oh, does the file already have. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe, maybe the file. Some of these things are already uppercased in the file, so this isn't working. Um, now, Perl has a two upper function. Um, C probably does not, but let's see if it does. Oh. Um, okay. So apparently this is a very simple function that I could have just done. But it only operates on one um, one character. It doesn't operate on a whole string. So okay, and yeah, this is probably a bad idea on my part. Two upper, am I not proper casing? Do, what do I need to include to use this, I guess? It's not a hard function. Oh, C type. Not a hard thing to include, but let's go ahead and include it. How well do I work under distraction? Well, I don't work that well when, without distraction, so you never know. I'm not going to be doing any better with. Okay. Yeah, apparently, lots of lots of brush fires going on out there. All right, let's take a look here. Um, and I think we can now make this. Um, we can now make this into a CSV because I like CSVs. So first, we have to decide what we want the CSV to be. The headers. We should probably do that down here before we print anything. Nope, we should probably do that before we go into a loop because we don't want to print it every time. 
not funny not cool and so before we go into the oh we are oh, okay, we're in the wild loop here okay Jesus um, so the ID Filecon um, Crocon Oldcon and we need to make sure that of course that our printout will match that I'm talking softer because it's because it's louder outside that is clearly the wrong thing to do Okay. Oh, someone's here, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. If I can, if I can stream in a war zone. Okay, here we go. Um. I think I want to add some comments to this. Should should I make that a readme though? Do I have a readme? Readme dot. Constell, that might be good enough actually. Oh. Okay, I can just put the second thing in here also then. Guess in back in the old days we used uh, equal the rows of equal signs to break in break files into pieces. Um, break point. Um, okay. And I guess we'll say um Okay, how do we... I want to be really careful that I want to... First of all, I need to push this, I guess. Then I need to make sure that I only get to this one revision of it. Because I am really bad about changing stuff after the fact. Um, so, let's see. So, I pushed to get now. Let's see how we can... Uh, Oh, if we can, in fact, uh, do what I want to do, which is try to get a um, direct link to the version that I just pushed. Uh, BC const star const l star two. And this one. This is the general link. And let's see if we can link. Yes. did it last time so it should be possible now, unfortunately that's the whole commit copy path nope that's not what I meant to do oh, hang on what does copy path do let's see if that helps that is not what I wanted out of that Um, so I'm pretty sure that's not what I want out of that either, but oh, maybe from here I can get how is this? Nope. Okay, not quite what I wanted. Usually I'm alerted by the sound of bodies coming in, but now there is more sounds, so that's fun. Let's see. Okay, view file, that might be the way to do this. I think this is going to give me the correct link to just this for you. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and shove in the input of what, the output of what I actually ran. Um, Now, notice that I'm saying const, which means constant, but it's for changing constellations. It's a very subtle joke I do occasionally. In fact, it's so subtle that you won't be able to get it because unless you're watching the stream, you, you don't know what I happen to name the temp file. Oops, const text. Okay. 
that obviously will need to be um, I wrote and ran um, and sees and find is that word spelled correctly? I don't think it is. Dun dun. Let's also turn on fly spell mode, so it'll tell me when I make more mistakes. Not if, but when. Okay, to find discrepancies uh, between the following. The constellation name as given in the HYG data. Uh, let's go ahead and quote its name again. I think I actually have it here because I just. Uh, um, escape W and then yank. Okay. The constellation name as computed using current right ascension and declination precessed to 1850. Precessed? Precess is a word, but I don't know if it actually recognizes it to be 1850. Okay, still no message from my dead body deliverer. Let's see if this word is... I think, I think this is a word it just doesn't know. Okay, so we'll leave, I need to add that at some point. Um, the constellation name as computed adjusting right ascension and declination by the uh, adjusting right ascension using the PMRA and PM deck fields. Note that this is different um, from recomputing the XYZ positions in particular uh, life sucks no. in particular um, long-term proper motion won't be linear in right ascension or declination but I but because these values are given at higher precision they may or may not be <laughs> I'll be as vague as possible um, this calculation may or may not be better than recomputing the XYZ coordinates. Okay, I think that's going to be enough for us to publish. Um, okay. And. Oh, actually, hang on, I probably should name these FileCon. Uh, Kirkon. Uh, Oldcon. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Okay. So I think this is ready to go now. <laughs> I wrote and ran. I wrote, but it didn't run it, then I just kind of observed it. Um, now, Dorado and Lynx are nowhere close to each other, so this LYN has got to be some other constellation. I wonder what constellation it is. Because if, if that is if that is the Lynx, then obviously I've screwed something up really badly. Oops. Um... So unless Dorado is not the, um, all right, hang on. Always doubt yourself as much as possible. Ling and D Dior has to be Dorado, right? So how the hell do we move? Hmm. I am suspicious. 
unless there's a different constellation also called Lynx. Or we're closer to Dorada. Oh, is Dior? Okay, well, let's see what const. Hmm. So maybe I f something up here. And I thought that would be Dorado. And Dorado is way in the southern sky. So what happens? So I, I guess maybe I slipped a, a boundary somewhere. I came up with a uh, right ascent, a, a declination actually, that is messed up somehow. So let's do this. Let's take a look here. I have BC getified this, and I will need to fix this if this is if this is actually wrong. Um, Um, so I guess the problem here is, oh shoot, this really needs to happen first. Um, that's probably the whole problem right there. Okay. Once more into the reach, dear friends. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, now booties and serpents. Okay, that's not cool. The only thing I can think of is the declination somehow got messed up. But all right, well let's follow the sun here. Um. This is going to drive me nuts. Percent F, percent F, percent F, percent F. It's going to be right ascension, declination, old right ascension, old deck. So maybe I somehow miscomputed a... M I screwed something up, obviously. Let's find out what. Okay. Okay. So how do you end up going from... Mm. This is not cool unless LYN has another meaning. Um. Hmm. That's a huge, huge mistake. That's not one of those tiny little mistakes either. Okay. So that, so that's that's actually not the hip ID. That's the um, that's the ID as given in um, as given in the HYGD catalog, which might may or may not actually match. Because a lot of it is the same. Uh, but let's go ahead and look for that. Let's go ahead and look for that a little bit better. Let's go ahead and... I know I could find it from that, but I'm really, really lazy. So I want to find it like this. Oh, yeah. Because they don't space fill. Okay, it does look like... Um, all right, so let's take a look at star HIP this. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try to get a better source on this very cool looking but it's not very useful actually let's go ahead and do this um okay still not great is there a wikipedia entry for this because 
You know, there should be a Wikipedia entry for every one of the billions of stars that exist. Um, Wiki Sky, I don't know if it's a project of Wikimedia, but that certainly sounds... Let's try this, though. Hip pain. Okay. Um, no, not quite. Um, all right, let's look at Wiki Sky. I don't know if that's a, you know, like we said. Um, so we'll check it against Hipparchus, and if we can remember the number, um, 29439. So it actually does appear to be in the constellation Dorado. Okay, so we will go ahead and do this as our link. All right, so let's go ahead and, so this is a serious error here. Pomodoro time, but we are skipping it because of circumstances. Um, still do not have a reply from my I guess my delivery guy is on his way. I shouldn't I shouldn't criticize. Um Okay. Um So now I'm gonna give my I'm gonna pretend do a little fake antidote which is this entry surprised me. Um Entry surprised me, unless, okay, hang on. Let me check to see where the other LYN constellations are, just in case um, he means something different by LYN. Mm, okay, minus, that's the one we have, though. 57. Oh, I think he messed up his negative sign. But this is clearly in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. Uh, are nowhere each, nowhere near each other. Um, Where the hell did it go? And following URL, which I, because I don't like to put URLs in the middle of things, uh, uh, have convinced me this is really in Dorado, not Lynx. Um, um, I didn't, okay, so we'll just say, I didn't scan the other entries for possible um, obvious errors, however. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, breakpoint is a word, you piece of shit. Okay. Now what's interesting is I'm not going to say why I'm sending them this data because no one really cares. Um, but this is kind of like the whole. Well, it's my issue, I guess. I need to. I need to fuck with it. Um. Okay, hold on, everybody. We have a delivery. Back in two and two. Give me one second, sorry. I'm gonna.
Okay, sorry about that. We are back. Um, just as an FYI, there is another delivery of bodies coming soon, so I will have to stop for that as well. But you love it. Um, so just let's mess this up a little bit more here. Um, I think we could yeah, go all the way. Escape W, Control V, and we do need to make a little bit of a correction here. We do need to, um, you know what, let's make this, oh. This, I was trying to make this bigger by making this wider, but I guess we can only make it longer. Na 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 that's the uh, Brady Bunch song. That's actually not the Brady Bunch song. All right, let's see what this looks like. So this is pointless, okay. But is it pointless? Um, uh, <laughs> I like the way I totally... Um, okay, so I've given them something to correct, which is always a good thing, and now I actually have nothing else planned, so if there's anyone watching the stream, which God help you, I'm going to pick on you now, uh, nope, there's nobody except the bots, hello bots, um, I think at one point we did look at a text adventure game based on OSM, um, and we either did or didn't like it. It was, because we did, we definitely did parse nodes and stuff. Um, and we did that to find, like, but the problem is now nodes are now actually used as polygons for stuff, and so it got much, much worse, um, than we had before. Now, what we did actually look at the possibility of doing a, a star chart using the HYG data, and for some reason, I never got that to work correctly, and I don't really understand why. We might look at that again today. Um, I just got an email saying that I updated the, uh, the, the, the issue, which of course they just did. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yes, our Orange Kangaroos in Denmark uh, project was to find all possible answers to the uh, problem whose answer is usually orange kangaroos in Denmark. Um, I believe I had downloaded a list of all animals, but just the just their Q values, not their uh, not their actual names. So one way to deal with, and I have downloaded the entire wiki uh, data database as it were, um, and I probably can, uh, we could look through that, I'm actually kind of curious now, because looking through the whole thing is going to be very, very ugly, because there's like a bajillion things in there now, um, but, um, I think at one point, this is probably what I was trying to do at one point, um, Let's see. Okay, does this actually work? Oh, no, no, this is actually to connect to their API. Uh, which, in other words, their live database, which I'm not looking to do. I'm looking to do this from the dump. Now, this is, um, oh. Right, this actually just um, connects things with their sub-objects. So that's not also what I'm not looking to do. Um... So apparently, I never actually did the thing where I try to seek inside of a Wikidata file um, using the bzipped version. Yes, it, you can actually do that. Um, but let's see if we can... Um, huh. Wow, I really don't have that. All right, let me quickly... I could have sworn I had a... Oh, hang on. Is it in Wiki? No, it is not. Okay, I think I only have two things here, and one of them is recent. One of them is uh, May 29th of 2015. Um, let's see if there's anything in the main level here. 
grab wiki i'm pretty sure just sucks down a wiki using the wikipedia the media wiki api <laughs> do not do this okay so i was just hard coding grab some crap here okay so let's see if we can um i don't know how valuable well, i would say this is extremely non-valuable let me go ahead and uh, link in the um do i have no back i do not let's see if i have wiki do i i don't have wiki data linked in here Okay, stand by. Let's do this here. And we will link in no backup wiki data here. But let's first make sure that it doesn't have anything. No, it has literally one file in it, so we're good. Okay. And let's make sure everything is cool. So let's go over here. Um, this is an insanely large uh, file. I mean, it, this is just, this is bzipped, uh, and it's still insanely large. So the question is, how can we seek inside bzipped files? Because they are, as the name implies, bzipped. Now, I did do some data, did, did do some data, really? Really did I? Um, I did do some work on that, believe it or not. Um, and I think I actually found out how to, how to do this. Um, And then I, I need to actually, the words bzip and seek almost definitely don't, ooh, hang on. Is there a program called bzip to seek? There might be. I don't have it on this machine, but it, because it's kind of a weird thing to, okay, okay, I don't, it's bzip table. Okay, hang on. All right, give me a second, I'm going to try to figure out where I know about um, seeking inside of bzip files, something you would not expect obviously um oh seek b unzip um uh seek b unzip okay so i don't think i have that installed here not a big deal i can get and those programs i can i can get installed let me see if I ever use them, though. Well, well, well. Okay, so I have, clearly. And there's something called bzip table also, by the way, uh, which uh, creates a table that the first column of bzip generates for bzip file. Okay, so clearly this is something I have looked into. I'm not necessarily have, I doubt it's in any deeper level, though it probably should be. Okay, and the fact that it's in Playground probably means that it is not uh, yet ready for prime time, but we can cer certainly um, make it ready for prime time. Okay, so let's see what, um, okay, bzip to seek. Oh, wow. Is that a function I actually wrote? Oh, it's, it's in here, sorry. Um, okay, turn it down. The len byte starting in the original file. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is going to use, um, yeah, seek b unzip. So this might not be as fast as I think it is. So the question is can I do a binary search inside of a bzipped file knowing something? Ooh, shiny. Why is this still in here? Okay, hang on. Um, bzip to, bzip to seek, bzip to see. I don't think I have anything, okay, that's the uh, bzip opening thing jobs. Um, okay, so apparently I've never done a, yeah, and I say that and I get the feeling I probably have now done a binary search inside of a freaking huge, um, file so we can find the Q value that we want quickly. Um, pretty damn insane if you ask me. Um, let's see, this should be bzip to seek. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. If I've used it anywhere else or if I recopied it or something, then I probably do have... Okay, I have not. Okay, fun, fun. So now what we get to do is a couple things here. 
There's something called BZIP table, which I will go ahead and find and download and hopefully be able to... Um, uh, or I won't. Hang on. <laughs> I love the way I just said I'm not going to. Um, what this tells you basically is how to compare um, where the original bytes are compared to the compressed bytes. So that tells you sort of where you want to BZIP into. Um, let's see. Let me quickly see if I did actually compile this, which is the correct way of doing it. Um, or I just, I'm almost sure that, um, I'm almost sure that uh, there's no, uh, is BZIP table right? CD, dun, 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 come on. All right. I'm almost sure there's no uh, no package that provides it because I would have gotten it from the package if it did. Um, but let's go ahead and waste some time by looking for it inside of packages while quickly checking on the status of my second non-delivery. Um, trying on the mirror. La, 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 la. Come on. Yum just kind of sucks right now. Especially since I'm 90% sure it's not going to find it. Um, there might be a way to do a bzip2 mount, a fuse bzip2 as it were. Um, oh wow, that's not... So now this will actually work better for some reason. Rerunning it, because now it thinks it has the latest data. I mean, it does in some sense. So let's let's waste let's wait and waste time also both very important. Um, la 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 la. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Sorry, just looking at my order receipt from the dead bodies that I ordered. Uh, this is not going to go well. And maybe just to waste some more time, I'll look for the other thing that we have. But if BZIP table isn't in here, the other one's not going to be either. Um... using anything that's network intensive? I don't think I am. Uh, let me do a J net top, which I cannot do from here, unfortunately, uh, because uh, because it doesn't have access to the actual physical device. Um, okay, apparently I am... No, that look, looks okay. Alright, has this uh, command finished running yet? No, it has not. Whoa! Oh man. Um, okay, we'll give it another 20 seconds or so before we we do an alternative plan, which will probably be just to copy the binaries over from my other machine, but we'll Google it first to see if we can maybe install it that way. Uh huh. No matches found. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, of course, um, BZ. Hang on one second here. I am once again doing some things on the other machine that you can't see that make this thing even less useful for you, but I don't care. And the other thing we're looking for is bzip2seek, which we won't have either, but this should actually fail bzip2seek, which I think is one word or is it two words? No, it is hyphen seek. Okay. All right, so this probably won't work. Um... Yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and look for these online now, because online is our friend. So, bzip table. Um, mm, Uh, let's see. 
I do not remember having to compile. Let's you know what? Let's actually look for both of them at the same time. Let's go crazy, man. And it's bzip two seek. I don't know why one of them has a bzip in it and one doesn't. Um, three results. James Taylor, good musician, probably a good coder as well. That's how I. That's how I judge. Um, it is Pomodoro time, but because of special circumstances that I just made up, we're not going to do it. All right. Um, na 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 na. Okay, so where the hell do we get this file in which... Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, nope, that's all we have. Don't load them. Um, right, let's see where you actually use the phrase bzip to seek. Bzip... No, you do not use that. You... Okay, good. How do you get these pieces of shit? It's good shit. Where do you get them? Oh. I get the feeling this is still wrong, though. Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Is this... This is still just talking about it. Um... Wow. Okay, I'm going to cheat and copy this over from my real machine. Um, which I shouldn't have to do, but whatever. And I, I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure they're just Python scripts, actually. Oh, no, they're not. Um... Oh, it's, the other one's actually called seek bzip2, just to make life complicated. Okay, what is the other one called? Oh, seek b unzip. Oh, good. The names are actually pretty nicely, um... They're pretty nicely obfuscated. All right. Now, there's no guarantee that copying the binary will work, because it doesn't have the right libraries and stuff. Um... But let's see what happens. So the first thing we do is we uh, run bzip table. And I'm almost sure you have to do it this way, but let me double see. Uh, not what I expected. Mm. Unless there really is an error in this data, in which case I am. Um, I do not think you can do this. I don't think this will work. Uh, because it wants standard input. Okay. So what this is telling me, if this is correct, is that starting at this um, data point in the original file, there is an error. But unfortunately, it turns out, because of the way uh, bzip is done, it's also possible it's not an error at all, but it's just... Um, uh, this is going to be a hell of a lot of data, though. I mean, I could unzip it. Um, um, yeah, I don't really see how to get to the 40 billionth byte to see if something's wrong. Um, okay, I mean, I could unzip... Let's see how much space I have on this. 43... I, won't, I literally can't fit it. Um, oh, no, hang on. Um, no, this is, sorry, this is mounted somewhere else, so I actually probably can unzip it and stuff. Let's take a look here. Oh, no, I actually am down to 43 gigabytes on this machine. I need to fix that. Yeah, this is 52 gigabytes. It literally cannot uncompress this here. Um, and so I made a note to myself to... Um, to fix this. Um, okay. Uh, so this is problematic. Um, I 
And I'm pretty sure seek bzip does not work. Yeah. I don't think it works without that table thing. Oh, come on. Really? Segmentation fall. Okay. All right. So this is kind of ugly now. We uh, we have a um, an issue. Um, we could go look for the bzip blocks. Ours. I guess we could also go seeking into this file. And if we see like a bunch of zeros or something, um, then we know that something's wrong because of you you wouldn't see that in the bzip file. So let's. Oh, I, I hesitate. No, unfortunately, we're going to need to look at it uh, raw. Still doesn't do that. Yeah, unfortunately, I think uh, there is there is a way to do this. We can actually. Um, God, we can do this. Um, really, don't want to do that. And now we can see it as. Unfortunately, if I do 45%, it doesn't actually know how big the file is because it's coming in from a pipe, which is bad. Well, actually, hang on. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, calculating line numbers. Probably don't need you to calculate line numbers, but I could. Can you seek into 45% into the file? We have this. It's looking fine, 20% into the file. I mean, there's nothing here that looks like something went very, very wrong. Um, right, so actually, let's, let's try that less uh, table thing again, bzip table thing, and see where it's complaining. Um, so 46,000. Three hundred two. This is inside the real file. This is how many. Um, wait. I always forget which one's which. Uh, Nine hundred thousand. That's a little bit curious. Why are there only seven bytes stored there? Um. So I think this tells you the beginning of each byte, the beginning of each chunk of bzip data, and these are the. Um, these are the sizes. So let's, what the hell is wrong with this? Let's actually go into a new window here. That's how bad it is. We're going into a new window. Um, I probably should unset this, like, in generically. Okay. Yep. Do you want to see that? Now, there should be a way to jump to a given character, because we don't really have lines in this thing, uh, and see what the hell is going on. Don't need lines. Help. Um, and of course, we could use um, we could use a Perl script to seek into it too, because it's the raw file that we're looking at. I'm hoping there's an easier way to do this. So, is there a go to raw? No. Is there a go to byte? Oh, come on. Go to character. Oh, come on. Go to byte. Okay, hang on. Is there a seek command? Maybe. No. Religious. Okay. I probably do have a thing that does seeking, actually. BC seek. Probably doesn't do what I want, though. Oh. That is pretty convenient. Uh, Alright, so let's do that. BC seek. Um, file name, go into block, let's go ahead and do a little bit before this, uh, and then let's go for a million blocks, pipe to less. That looks really weird there, but it doesn't look necessarily like a bad thing. Yep, I'm not seeing anything here look, that looks like deadly. That looks like it should be fatal to bzip, too. This is a million bytes? Seriously? Um, I guess I guess a million bytes is quite a, quite a lot of bytes. Because um, these lines aren't that 
these lines are like 80 characters long or 120 characters long and we're printing out stuff in hex so it's going to even take longer so okay so nothing really there that we're seeing bad now we want to look at where it thinks there's a data error again we'll clip it by a little bit yeah so I'm not I'm not necessarily seeing this um I mean the the sort of real way to do it would be to BZ cat it and see if BZ cat can understand it but but let's let's actually cheat a little bit more so according to this the very first marker will be at 32 that tells you and the I think the first 31 bytes are headers so that's not that's not um, surprising um, this file so let's start at 30 and go for 5 bytes and less it because obviously we want to okay so by 30 31 okay so that that's actually not very useful um now let's see if over here what is the um what is the like magic starting thing that it uses uh and we'll go for like 500 okay so we we started um oh i didn't mean to do that hang on Let's start a little bit before the um, the point where it, the eight bytes before the point where it thinks magic happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I guess what we're looking for is the bzip two block header, if such a thing exists. Let's see if such a thing exists. Uh, that's the bzip two header. Uh, but let's see what the block headers are, the individual blocks themselves. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Um, Okay, so there's more going on here. We, we, we're not quite at the point of being able to, um, to, 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 di to diagnose what's wrong here. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure there's an older version that I have that does work with this, uh, which I kind of don't want to use because it's much smaller. Hmm. Yeah, there's something wrong here because we we do not have seven and thirty-six element compressed bytes. It's possible that this is in a format, a version of bzip2 that is not supported by bzip2 table. Um, but it doesn't actually say. Okay. Um. We could also do. I don't think this will work though. It, it really doesn't do anything other than listen on the standard input. Okay, now, is there, uh, there might be a fuse bzip2. Um, so we could treat it as a file system. That seems like a weird thing to do because it's um, it's a single file. It's not actually a bunch of files like... Um, like okay. Um, let's see what this does. Um. Uh, no, 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 no. Ooh! Wait, 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 wait. That does not say bzip two. Maybe that's for a reason. Um. Um. Nemo. That's not helpful. I think maybe I better put this in quotes. Because I could have sworn there was one at one point. Oh. Fuse beats. Let me see if we have I have it on the other machine. This might be one of those things that took me forever to install. Okay. Uh, okay. Looking a little bit more thoroughly now, I might have never there might not be a way to do this. So 
So I am looking thoroughly on the other machine to see if we have anything that's useful here. Uh, does oh hello. Um, there is a fuse zip, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to work for us. But let's see, fuse. No B zip. Ooh. These look like some interesting things, but I cat compare diff grep table, which doesn't work, to recover less more. I get the feeling that's going to be, yep, that's, oops. the only thing that looks even vaguely exciting is um, BZZ, which doesn't help us here because we already have a file that we want to look into. So kind of a bummer because I was going to, I think this is a pretty good thing to do here. Um, if we look at our downloads, we can look at the data that we have, um, um, like this, uh, oh, actually, hang on, right, but we actually t found out it's going to be like taxon or something is the, is the magic thing that we need. Ooh, okay. Sorry, magic shit came up. All right, uh, let's see what this is. This is, um... Okay, so these are all the taxons. Um, but no, sorry, only the first 250,000 taxons. I should probably call it that. First 250k taxons dot CSV. No, it's not CSV. It's... Oh, it's a TSV. That's fine. We'll, we'll get it. Uh, let's look at our other queries here. Let's look at query number seven, which I think might be all the taxons. Um, no, so these are the taxons with their parents, but the issue here, of course, is we do not um, we do not say which uh, entities. We don't have the names for these entities. Um, shiny though. Um, all right, so the other option is, of course, to go through the whole file, like we did with the, um, like we sort of did with the uh, P31 and P279, and suck out the names. And I think I've actually done this somewhere, so, uh, I mean, it's it's not going to be current, obviously, but let's see. I mean, one second here where we find out where I did that. Um, yeah, that should be easy to find. Okay. Oh, actually, hang on. I know how to do this. Yeah, we're actually going to have to pull in an older version of of this, but that's okay. That's actually where it kind of belongs. Okay, here we go. Let me quickly check to see what's going on here. Oh, my God. Okay, stand by for movage. Um... Latest all, and this version is 2017-0926. Okay. And, oh shit, did I just actually fill up a disk by doing that by mistake? Um, I think this is only 14 gigabytes, so I think I'm okay. Uh, but I'm really, really pushing this. Um... Yeah, so I, I'll be okay there. Um, let me find some other good stuff here. Um, um, okay, so this is clearly stuff that... Uh, okay. I might have to compress this file just to get it over there. But let's see. And the cool thing about this file is if I transfer it as is, which I plan to do, um, after I check to see that it's actually not too big, it isn't, fortunately. Um, there's an interesting file here, though. What I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to help out with that. Um... Uh, 
I, I, I kind of get the feeling that I created the original version um, by actually crepping into this horrible thing and somehow finding the labels, but I just I don't see how that could be possible. Because this is just one big chunk of ugliness. So I probably did it some other way. Pomodoro time, we're going to skip it one more time. Um, but at 3 p.m. my time, I actually will need to do something. Maybe. Okay. Alrighty. So... Okay. So let, that one's going to take a while. Oh, that one's finished moving. Okay, good. Um, and let me go ahead and... I'll copy this one over because it's actually... Ooh. Hang on. Uh, all right, stand by for copyage. This is the older version of Wikipedia, so I am going to name it something different. No, that didn't say cat, I meant copy. Okay, so what this is, uh, once, once it gets here, um, what I did a long time ago is I basically got the um, um, I got the uh, names for everything in Wikipedia. This is a pretty big file. For everything in Wikidata, I don't remember how I did this. I probably just went through the uh, the the big dump file, which really is what I should be doing now and and getting this data. Um, um, and I think I might have sorted by the first field numerically, but I probably didn't. And there's actually also properties in here, I think. So, uh, yeah. So apparently, I didn't really bother to uh, to sort these very well. Um, but the theory is, um, if we look at where the hell are we? Over here. If we look at our downloads, this may give us a, a way of. Um, I guess query seven is. Let me go ahead and name, rename this to. Um, and this is not limited, is it? it? Oh, it is limited to a million. Okay. Taxon parent 1m dot text dot tsv. Well, yeah, dot tsv. We'll, we'll preserve it because we'd remember to. Query 6 might be something really useful. It is... Yeah, this is everything. Um, except the labeled isn't there, so... Uh, even though it says it's there. Um, TSV. I think we'll do a move, actually. Um, and I think that's the one we really want. Um, taxons all. Oh, the single taxons. All right, so an example of a taxon would be... An example of a taxon would be us remembering that we have to do it this way. That should not take that long. Oh, I'm sorry. These are probably tab separated. So hang on. Um, what do we search for? 21138? Why isn't that in there? I mean, hmm, that just seems weird, because they don't get rid of stuff in this database. I know it's not in order, but still, I mean, that should not be a tremendous, uh, wow. One three three eight, not in there. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious how I actually got these names out of um, the dump file. Uh, I'm going to take a look here to see if I can replicate what I did there, uh, so we can get the the names out of the new dump file and sort them, and we'll separate out Q and P objects this time. And then in theory, we should be able to use uh, binary search.
Not really, but, you know, in theory. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Sorry, someone just said they were putting in sc sc scope creep into uh, Skyfield, and they are. But it's cool. Okay, let's see how I got all this crap. Really doesn't say here. It really, I mean, this was September 2017. Uh, I mean, I could try to find the Perl scripts that are dated about this time, but, um, yeah, so I'm not, and one of these files here actually suggests that I did it by grepping somehow, and it might be that I grepped into a, a different form of this data, not the JSON form, but, um, really no freaking clue right now all right let me let me take a I'm taking a little bit of a deeper look try to bring this over to where we are um, oh hang on okay maybe I used a nope I don't see any shell scripts I don't see any T shell scripts um kind of a bummer. Huh. All right. Well, let's go back to our program that we have, that we have saved also, uh, Wikidata from Dump, which... Um, and I guess... In, so this is... We were trying to collect P31 and P279, but we've decided that... Um, actually, wouldn't be a bad thing to collect. But let's see if we can also um, get the name out of this sucker. Now, the problem with the name... Um, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the data uh, sort of in raw JSON format by doing this. Um, and then we're just going to say... And I think the problem with the data is that we don't always have an English name for something, and it's not clear how to get a name if we don't have an, a, an English name. And I guess we're going to go ahead and use our new and lovely file for this. Um, the latest, latest one. And... And let's see if we can, we can, okay, what do we, oh, that does not start well, okay, um, so first things first, let's see what we actually got, and then let's see why I didn't like it, that looks like perfectly good Jason to me. Mean very long, Jason, but, but still, motherfucker. Um, let's see if it gets. Maybe it's not complaining about the first line. So let's see. Line colon next. No. So why is this not a? Do I have a parse JSON function? I probably do, actually. Uh, or I probably don't. Parse. Uh, what is a trigram? I probably should not be doing this. Okay, I probably shouldn't run that without knowing what it did. But anyway, does it have a help feature? I probably should have done something terrible now that I shouldn't have done. But let's get back to... Um, let's get back to... Um, trying to get the name out of this sucker. Um, so, really bad start here. Um, 
I mean, it could just be the first line, but you know, stuff like this... Stuff like this... Um... This is not good. So let's take a look at this. Let's make sure it's actually complaining. Whew. Line 71, line 2. So what does that actually mean? Oh, line 72 is the line, uh, line 71 is the line here in this program, which it's not. Um... I mean, it could be the length. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Why the hell am I... Okay. Whoa. Why am I doing that? No, I shouldn't remove commas at the end. Did I get that from something else I was doing? Like, what the hell did I do that for? In fact, I'm going to go look into why I did that. Um, because that is just freaking weird. Let me do a git diff on that. That 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 should never have showed up. Uh, the only thing I can think of is I copied it from some other um, from some other program that did for whatever reason. Um, now that was in there from the last time. All right, I will look into why that's there, but it certainly doesn't belong there. So that might have been the problem. We do not need to delete commas. We are going to skip over. Wait. Why? Each of these lines is going to be JSON. Um, this might have been from a... Um, this might have been an XML dump, which is why I was doing this. But um, anyway, let's try this now. See if watch this work a little bit better. Okay, now we, we're getting kind of unhappy. Okay. Now here we're not truncating anything. You were getting the whole, well, hang on. The new line might be confusing it. Ooh. All right, obviously the next thing to do, oh. Okay. That's why we need to ignore brackets, because this whole thing is a huge list. And that probably was why we needed to ignore commas at the end, because they were, um, they indicate, yep, I'm an idiot. All right, hang on. Um, let's try it like this, but I get the feeling this isn't going to work, because there's a, there's a trailing comma now that we have. That's not what I meant to do at all. Let's do this. Aha! Garbage after JSON object. So that's that's probably why we had the. Um, that's the start of a huge JSON array that we cannot possibly parse. And also, Max doesn't like apostrophes. Um, now why is this not doing this? Because it just doesn't like me. Apparently, just format everything differently every time, please. Okay. Um, the comma that ends the line uh, between between arrays. 
between array elements. This is really just a huge. Um, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Actually, okay, now I think I know what's wrong. It's possible that there are other characters here um, before the comma or whatever that are screwing this up. But let's do this again to make sure we're now at the uh, same page. We want to be at good malformed. Um, so now we can actually take a look at the string and see how it ends, which is the um, the part that is apparently um, that is apparently screwing over uh, the JSON interpreter. So it's a pretty damn long object, but all we want to know is how it ends. How does it end, dude? <laughs> this is a kind of a... I mean, I could just print the last part of it, I know. Okay, so we are, we're not getting rid of the internal brackets, which is good, because we apparently need them. Jesus freaking Christ. This is one object. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it this way. So we're going to do it this way. All right. Mm. Before end, that's not very helpful. So it is unhappy about something in here. And let's bring up temp fuck me. See what it's unhappy. So this is... Now, I, you can actually get Emacs to parse JSON, but... I think. Okay, no. F2. Colorize. Um... So why... Okay, so this obviously isn't JSON, but this stuff here should be JSON. No matching parentheses found. That's not good. Um, yeah, let's, let's really hose Max and go to the very top and let's see if we can find a matching brace for the other thing that we have here. There is kind of a way to hack around this, which is to actually look for specific strings inside of the JSON. Let's do this. And yet another way to do it is to sort of um, look at all the little um, braces and, and you know, and um, parse them individually, uh, which would kind of be fun, actually. Um, but, I mean, we should be able to parse this as JSON, because this is supposed to be a JSON object. So I guess the other thing I'm going to try here... Uh, we do not want to get out of the whole thing. We just want to get out of this one. Okay. Let's see if we can apply JSON tidy to it. Ooh, better still. Um... Okay. Okay, so I guess what we could do here now is just say, um, obviously, this is cheating because we're we're overwriting um, we're overwriting the thunk, but that's you know, just for testing. Okay, so it is valid JSON, but it's not going to parse it. I'm unhappy about that. And I guess the only thing I could see to fix this is to upgrade my version of the JSON parser. Um, let's do this. And it should tell me I already have the latest version. Or it should tell me that it hates me. Or both. Oh, 
Okay, it is Pomodoro time. I am going to take this time back in two and two. And we are almost back. Okay. Okay. And we are back. I'm going to need to track down some dead people later. So now let's see if this um, install we just or you just watched uh, helps. I think it might be an upgrade. Mm, not looking too good. Malform JSON string. Now the one problem we might have here is Emacs, Emacs, Perl is not great at parsing strings that are insanely long beyond a certain uh, length. Um, and it might be that the JSON routine uses that. Okay, so what does JSON PP do? I don't even know if I want to know. Whoa! Well, that's actually kind of nice. Okay. And I think there's something called JSON Excess, which does something very similar but different somehow. Um. Okay, and is there a JSON tight? There's also a JSON tidy, JSON reformat. But all of these are external program. This looks nice. Um, now, one thing we could do here. 
Well, let's take a look at how long the first line, the line that it's getting screwed up on is. Um, I guess we'll look at it before we, we make any changes to it. Um, I think it's, it used to be Sterlin, but it's not anymore. So let's do this. Seven hundred forty-one thousand nine hundred fifty-seven characters. Um, that is probably longer than um, than the JSON program can handle, or at least longer than the um, the Pro Regex mashing. I ran into that problem earlier when I tried to um, suck attachments out of emails. After a certain length, uh, the um, Perl doesn't understand that it's a single string or whatever. So that's not cool, but can we make it cooler by every time we see one of these suckers replacing it with that and a new line uh, on the off chance that somehow that makes it better? So actually, let's go over here. Uh, we can go ahead and do it over here. Um, let's do that. Um, substitute this thing, comma. Eh, with can cheat a little bit here. Dollar sign one new line as it were a single line, do it globally. And now I do want to debug this because it should be all broken. Now let's see if it it probably won't work. Ninety nine percent sure this won't work. Okay. Excuse me. Um It's looking gooder. And now let's just see what happens at the very end. Okay, it does not like it. Malform Jason String. Um, lots of ways we can handle this. The way I'm tempted to do it uh, is to try to parse it myself, which is just a real waste of time here. Um, let's see if there is a actually I want to see if there's a limit um ooh the default hmm let's maybe look at this this is maybe what's going on here clearly that has a um my json equals in Debug max close enough. All right. Um, where did max go? Can't call get max size on unblessed reference. Uh, do I mean this? Get max size the function, not the. Um, that's actually probably correct. Um, yes, I can. All right, well, can I set the max size then? Did I actually, yep, I constantly do that. Um, default 512. Okay, let's, let's print that sucker out. Uh, something tells me that's not going to work either. Wikidata parse from dump debug less. Oh. Nope. Wikidata. Nope, 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 this one. Okay. Um, X. Mm, no, actually, it looks like it's... Okay, hang on. That's... That is actually different. Um, get max... Okay, so it's not even a... It's just a... Um, 
That should work. Yeah. So, whatever the hell I'm doing, it's bad. Uh, I guess I could already set the max depth. Um. Jason, max size. How do I set it, though? Um. Okay, so to set it, we do this. And again, we shouldn't have to... Oh, shit, 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 shit. That's what's wrong. I need to do the... I need to do a... Wait, hang on. Do I? Mm, getting suspicious. All right, hang on. This is the line we're going to quote. Um... You know, I get the feeling we kind of have to do this before we, um... We probably need to declare a new JSON object here, because I don't think we can change it once we actually have read in stuff. That's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think the problem is we can't actually... Before we read it, we have to sort of, um... Um, I think that should work, and then this obviously is too much, but let's, that's one million, let's say one billion, that's, um, Jason, max depth. Uh, 512 is the default, so let's say 10,000. And then, let's, before we do anything to it, um, let's take a look at the um, max depth and the max size. Um, and then we'll try to assign it. Let's see what that does. Probably nothing useful. we are. But it still didn't like it. So we did get what I was saying. Um, but now, do we need to split it up by... Oh, no, we don't, we don't even bother to do that now. Okay, so this is a perfectly valid JSON thing. I try to give it in... Um, I try to set it so it can go as deep as it wants. Um, now formed. Either chain, da 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 Character offset zero. Uh, I mean, that's the first character. I mean, a JSON object can start with one of these things, right? Unless. No, I mean, yeah. Because, not JSON tidy, JSON. Yeah, because this, this is. This is a perfectly fine JSON object. I could run each and every one of them through a program like this, which I'm kind of tempted to do, but... Okay, so whatever's going on... Perl... I'm going to go ahead and BC get this before we make changes. Okay, hang on, we're getting some more stuff in. Uh, okay, they're delaying my order, which is fine, of dead bodies. Which is fine, because I want to hang out with you guys longer. I love you guys. Um, how long have I been hanging out with you guys? Over two hours. I think we'll go for a little bit more. Okay. I do not want to write my own JSON parser. Um, but at the same time, I don't necessarily need all the, the entire power of, of JSON here. Ooh. Alright, I've, I've just got to try this now. 
Um, wait. Oh. Right, I replaced it with this, so that's why. Okay, so we're going to chomp it. We're going to get rid of the... Uh, at this point, it doesn't actually matter. Um, find minimal braces. So, braces. This probably will not work. And we're going to replace it with um, handle, unless it's a reserve word. Um, and it's expression, and we're testing. And obviously, the only thing interesting here is going to be what the handle function does. Uh, is handle handle's probably a reserve word. Hey, hang on. Handle string. Okay, so now we're going to do a sub handle. Jesus Christ. We're going to do it up here now because I. All we want to do right now is just debug the little minimal strings that we're getting. This might have been how I did it last time, and if I. It's kind of weird because that means that I have never done it correctly. Um, it's not bad, actually. Um, so the only thing we're having here is, this is actually not bad at all. Um, the only thing we're having in here is we're having uh, nested braces, so that's not, there's a way to avoid that. It, this should do that, but it doesn't. So we're going to say anything in here, I guess it should be dot star plus. No, I will allow empty braces. Anything in here that is not either of the braces star. Let's see what that does. That's not cool. All right, so anything in here that is not this brace, not this brace, Storm. Hmm. Um, so am I just finding the ones that are empty? All right, let me do plus to see if the stuff that has at least one thing in it. Nope. Oh, I know what's wrong. Hang on. Star. And then we do want that parenthesized. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what this is... Um, by the way, the um, object we're looking at is the nation of Belgium. Okay, so this is good. This is good stuff. Value. Yeah, so the weird kind of thing here is we have, um, we're kind of nesting outwards here, which, which is fine, um, but we need to figure out a way to do this. And and we're basically building a hash from the outside, inside out. So what we do here is, <coughs> this is a little mini hash. Wait, really? The current time? Or is that just a way to format it? Okay. All right, so what we're seeing here is basically, um, this is a hash. I think each of these is going to be a hash. Um, but the question is, what do we return from this? Um, I guess we return a pointer to the hash. Um, Okay, so this is actually a, a hash with a list of strings in it. 
which I'm good with. I think that's what it's going to be all the time. I know I just said that. Um, but let's confirm that here. Um, uh, Pomodoro time, I'm going to skip it this time. I don't know why. Make up a, I'll make up a reason. Okay, so we want here dollar sign size split on the comma dollar sign string debug i is i and since we're actually we're actually looking at the whole thing we're not looking at one the temp fuck me string anymore but that's okay let's see what this does okay awesome so what we're going to expect now is quotation mark key quotation mark um you know what, we actually probably want to separate calls of this out, though, from each other. So let's go ahead and do this. So we will, every time we enter a new string, we will make a note of that. Yeah, here we go. Um, so this is a hash whose language is this, whose values is that. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can uh, create a new hash here. And it won't go away if I, as long as I keep referencing it, which I plan to do. Um, okay, so now, unless... I love to get rid of stuff. Quotation mark something, quotation mark. And then it looks like they're doing like a straight colon and not, not bothering with a... Um, they're not bothering with any spaces here. And I'll do this as this as well. So the whole thing should be starting with quote, dot, dot, quote, and then end. So if it's not that, then I have misunderstood the format. Oh, come on, don't be like this to me. Um, okay, quotation mark, blah, 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 quote, quotation mark, this end of string um, I am pretty sure this is correct. Um, this is one of those things where the Emacs mode for Perl is not quite a hundred percent correct. Um, unless I equals I think this is actually correct. If it works, we'll try to find a way to get Emacs to understand. Ooh, no, 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 no. Didn't work. Okay. Unless I equals begin of line, quotation mark, any something, quotation mark, real colon, quotation mark, thing, end of line. Oh. Yeah, we have to replace it with something. And for right now, we're going to replace it with nothingness. Okay. And that's actually okay, because we got rid of it. Um, oh, actually, let's see if we get bad string anywhere. <whistles> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Value stato dell'Europa Occidentale. I just like pronouncing European thing. So why did this value not get finished off? Um, maybe our good fellow temp fuck me will tell me. This might not be in the, this, um, what's interesting is it found it, but less isn't powerful enough to, um, I want to just switch the bucker, fuck me. I guess we'll have to open it up again. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Um, Stato del Orapa. Okay. Membre del Union Europa. Okay, so why is that not following the format that it's supposed to? Um, well, that looks fine, right? That uh, 
Oh. This should be okay, right? All right, well, maybe we better actually now look to see what I is before we before we mess with things. Okay. Um. So this is I. And this, come on, and there we go. All right, so unless it does that, so right now we're just doing that as a warning. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay. Okay, so the... So that, it's like it runs off the edge of the, um, it runs off the edge of the... I mean, this should be one solid line here. Right? I mean, this is one line in... Yep, it... Okay, it will be one line. Wait. This is one line. It's a very long line. But, um, it is one line. I think I know what... Um... Is it column number mode? Yeah. Okay. I think I know what's wrong. Um. Stratum de l'Europea Occidentale. Is it Dell with like two L's? Like, uh, yeah, it is. Dell. Oh, shit. Yeah, we actually need to do a CSV, not a split on commas, because we can have embedded commas. This should slow it down nicely. I'm going to go ahead and push this version. Um, yeah, okay. So the problem here is we can have embedded commas. Um, kind of not great, but... All right. Um, all right, let's see what this does. Now you might say, isn't it sort of... Oh... Um, I know what's wrong here. Wait. Um, wait, 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 wait. There's that's there's a colon there. Okay, string this. I language. Whoa, 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 whoa. Colon el. This is the frickin' comma here. I am not happy. Um, actually, let's just do this for right now. Okay, so we're basically saying split the string by commas and then tell us what the values are. And this... This is a quotation mark, not a comma. Okay, now CSV is a function I copied from someone else. Um, so I don't know how it works. Uh, this should break this up into... Now, if we can guarantee that it's breaking it up into exactly an even number of pieces, we might be okay. Why do you think this is a... The other thing we could do also is look in the string and if we see quotation mark, comma, no, we don't want to do that. Um, Why 
did I just get rid of the quotation marks, though? I'm not doing anything to it. Oh, hang on. Am I doing something to it? Mm, nope. Let's see. So the string we get is this. The comma should separate it into this little chunk here and this little chunk here. But it doesn't. For some reason, decides there's a mystery comma right there. Um, somehow strips off this. This is, yeah, this is not going to be... Not going to be good. <sighs> okay. An other way to do this... Okay, another way to do this... Okay, quotation mark, anything, quotation mark, colon, quotation mark, anything other than a quotation mark. And basically we're going to just, this is, this is inefficient at a level that even I'm scared. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, got type item. That's interesting that's not even in the string, so that's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Of course, I meant to say stir. He does that. We don't want to go through the whole freaking file. Okay, language L. This looks like it's doing pretty well. Um... And then after I'm done doing that, the string should consist of nothing but commas. Um, we'll call that stir beta? Stir. And if it has anything other than just commas in it, or and spaces, we'll allow that. Okay. Looking pretty good. Uh, unless stir equals tilde ah your mama um spaces and commas in any quantity including zero born bad string and there's no need to print it now because it's oh actually we can print it because it is not empty but obviously we'll be looking at the um the previous line um to see what went wrong okay oh here we go Because uh, apparently, when the the second thing it doesn't have to be a string, it could be an array. So kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Now, we could get around that by parsing all the arrays first. Uh, that's a nightmare. Um, and if, obviously, empty arrays aren't that bad, but this is going to be the where we're going to have the killer situation. Um, because we don't have that format that we want. Okay. Uh, maybe we could actually. Okay. Do we want? We can handle that. Quite, we could try to handle that in the same chunk that we handled this, but it actually might be better to um, handle it separately. So here we would have blah 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 blah. But here, instead of quotation marks, we would have brackets and right brackets, and we'll call this alpha. And because we're using beta already, we'll call this gamma. All right, so two cases, um, and once we're done, so we could have both of them in here because we're doing both separately. Why do you want to keep changing my spacing? Okay. Uh, okay. 
And so now let's let's see an example of alpha. So this is the string, and we're saying um, title below. So that's fine. And hmm. Oh, but that should actually be taken away now. Um, no, that's not right. So we actually need to make this... <sighs> oh, whoops. Um... This is not... No, 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 no. Bracket. Bunch of crap. End bracket. So what alpha should be getting... So it's looking at this, and it's okay. So we're going to have to minimize this so you can't have any other quotation marks inside of the uh, the tag, because otherwise you're trying to capture the whole um, this thing as your uh, as your as your quotation marks. Okay. So except not quotation mark. Oh, that's I guess all we need. Um, All right, see if that helps or that breaks everything. Hey, um, but we kind of need what's inside of here if they're not empty. So, oh, there we are. Um, and there can be more than one, so we have to uh, allow for that situation. And so this is like we're picking it up pretty well. The only thing that's going to be a problem here is if we have an array. Um, if we have an array of s inside of a inside of a inside of a a value, because that is still ugly, but still technically true. Um, now, obviously, we're not going to keep the entire hash. That would be... Ins oh, actually, we can't even do that. We're not even at that point yet. Uh, okay, so why don't we do this? Um, let me go ahead and push this version. And then, let's actually handle strings. Let's just handle it. Okay, so let's do this. Um... Now the question is, can we have inside of a uh, an array um, some braces? Because that's really going to fuck us up. Okay. So let's, we're just going to hope for the best here. And we want to replace it with handle array dollar sign one. Um, and for right now, that's all we're going to do. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see what they look like. Equals... I could be even more clever and try to do a CSV here, but I'm not quite that confident. We'll call this Delta. Alright, let's see what this does. Um... This is not what I expected. Okay, hang on. Um, do I need to specify in here that the things that you find in here cannot be left brackets or right brackets bracketed this? 
That looks hideous. Although it looks pretty close to what this is. All right. Yep. All right. Bracket. Things that are not brackets in either direction. Oh, hang on. And so this should end this bracket. Oh. There we go. Uh, okay, Pomodoro time. I'm going to skip it again. Probably will, however, take off at about 4 p.m. Um, nope, still not looking too cool there. Unless we're inside of some weird... Are we inside of an array here? No, because I mean the delta should in well, okay, hang on. We will go ahead and send it the um the braces as well, just to make life easier. Oh yeah, there we are. That's an array. Hmm. So apparently we can have arrays inside of braces, inside of arrays, inside of braces, which probably is the whole point of having a parse JSON function that I didn't write. Um, I mean, I guess we could have them like call each other, but um, Okay. Yeah, I guess inside of the parse string function, we could actually um, handle string function. Um, we could actually, so we did consider this case uh, specifically, but we ran into problems, and I don't remember what they were. But we'll find out by doing it again. Okay. Um, right, this is okay because these are empty arrays and we had one where it wasn't empty and we still were okay because there was just one value in there. Um, can't find it anymore, but anyway. Oh, I should be doing next alpha. Um, all right. Of course, one sort of issue with all this is how much of this crap do I really need? Um, mm, there's a way around this. Um, So alpha is when we have um, brackets. We can do this. We can say if dollar sign two, then again we really shouldn't be using temporary variables like this, but we are. So now we should only see the. There we go. Okay. The concern is going to be. If there's multiple things in there. How do we assign that? Um, but I mean, the rest of the stuff works pretty good. Uh, we're breaking stuff up nicely. I mean, I guess we could go through this and just allow um, allow hash values to be uh, equivalent to arrays and then have the arrays parsed separately, or we could do this. Let's see. Um, okay. 
So building from the inside out is kind of ugly. Kind of ugly. It's extremely ugly. Um, so what we're doing here is this is actually going to be a... Um, okay. All right, so we're going to have my key, val, we should just go ahead and get those as out of the way as soon as possible, hash, um, of key, can I actually do this, can I do, oof, Um, <laughs> mm. and I want to do this, but I get the feeling this is not correct. I get the feeling I need to do a backslash here. But let's try this right now. Most things I'm getting sick of this. Uh, and over here, we just need to say. Okay, now let's see what we're doing here. Bad. Ooh. Entity person George Washington type string. Motherfucker. Okay. We're now going to go, um, I mean, in theory, could do all this, keep, could keep writing, I'm going to go ahead and push this to, uh, uh, I'm going to push this to, uh, get, because we are not going to like this approach. We can try the cheating approach. Um, and the cheating approach basically says, we kind of know how the stuff we want looks. So and we're going to have always have ID this. This is the ID. Um, type we don't care about. Labels. We, what we're going to want is like en colon. Really? Okay, not great. Um, yeah, I don't see how we're going to do this without parsing everything. I guess we could ignore cases like this where um, someone's being exceptionally stupid. We can just parse the rest of this. Let's see how often that happens. kind of insane. I guess we could also only... Uh, let's see. Uh, we could just look for stuff that has value in it, but I mean, the word value in it, not value as in what's valuable to us. Okay. So let me, let me, um, maybe... Okay, I think maybe because I don't have this set to, um... So where are we going to get our P31 value? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, 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 and that would get parsed as, um, value item WDT type string. That is not really helpful. Are there more of those? And 
FDI property, numeric ID. How were we doing our P31 earlier, actually? Let's take a look here. Oh, we were we were getting um, JSON to actually be working in the, those cases. So now that we don't have JSON working, we have to be a little bit more clever. Uh, P31 target. So what is the thing we're looking at? Claims. P31. Okay. Okay, let's take a look here. So I'm guessing claims is going to be something way too major for... Yeah, it's not right. Um... I mean, if we know for a fact that we're going to see this, pattern not found. Okay. And I kind of wonder what the hell this is. And let's see what P279 tells us. Probably not much either. Okay. Um, let me make sure we're actually reading the right thing here. We may still be reading... Um, no, we're reading everything. Yeah, we're no longer reading... Um, okay. Let's do... Oh, will this actually ever stop? I mean, it just occurs to me this is... I've not put anything in here that says stop after the first line. And it doesn't appear that it's stopping after the first line either. Um, so do we want to ignore everything that doesn't have language P279 or P31? That would make it a lot easier. Um, Okay, well, let's do this then. Um, unless stir equal tilde language or P31 or P279 is the other one I think we're interested in. Yep, it is. And I guess we need to be a little bit careful because, well, this is going to not work because it's going to have P31, 1257 or whatever. Um, but let's let's work with that later. All right, now let's see what's going on. All right, language EL value. That's actually kind of nice. I like this. Okay. So hang on, text. Okay, languages are cool. Let's do something other than languages, though. Okay, and that gets rid of everything now. Um, except where it says bad string. Um, yeah, we're not going to worry about bad string anymore. Wait a minute. Hmm. Actually, let's put that in debug so it doesn't go out of scope. It doesn't come out at the wrong time. Um, let's try that again. P31. Okay. Now we could insist on language English. Um, the only problem there would be that some things don't have an English language name. But that might be okay. And I guess we also need to look for the uh, possibility of the word ID in there. Because we do want to know what it is we're looking at. Okay, so let's let's 
Let me go ahead and BC getify this because I believe in checkpointing as much as possible. Too much, uh, some would say. Okay. So. Let's see what that does. Oh, well, okay. That's not too bad. So why are we getting these in here? Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We probably want to get ID in here because it's possible we're going past IDs here, not realizing this. So also, if it has ID colon in it, we want it. Yes, the war zone is getting worse. Um, entity type. That's not what we want. Um, we kind of want ID to be like the first thing. Because this is, we're clearly not going... Oh, hang on, there was something interesting there. So for the ID stuff, I get the feeling we only want, like... Hmm. I happen to know Belgium is ID Q... F I don't know what it is, actually. But we can easily tell that by, say, it's Q31. Um... So the question is, where is the Q31 coming in? Okay, that's there. Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay. Not helping. I mean, there's going to be a place where the string... Oh, hang on. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this only looks at the innermost um, pieces of crap. We actually need to do more. Um, so this prop doesn't return anything yet. So we're going to do... Yeah, and this actually I sort of knew was going to happen. We need to keep doing it until there's nothing left. And that, that's actually going to be a lot more useful to us. Okay. Um, main snack. Okay, good. So we are now going out a little bit. Um, wait, why is main snack getting in there? Oh, because it has, they have IDs too. Okay. Um, we could also limit it to ID... Uh, that has just Q followed by numbers in it. But right now, I'm actually kind of curious. Um, as to where we actually get... Not going to give us a break, is it? Okay, so let's temporarily... Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. So we're looking at stuff that has ID, P31, and... Or P... I'm going to do something. Let me fix up the P31 bullshit here real quick. Okay. Let me make sure that... Okay. Yeah, we're looking for P31 followed by something that is not a digit, right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Um, unless it comes at the very end, which I guess... I guess even then they're going to quote it, though. So now let's see if that helps with the P31 bullshit. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. This line might have got it quoted because it has P.O. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, it is Pomodoro time. Despite what I said, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, probably go another 20 minutes and then we'll stop here. We've been going for 2 hours and 47 minutes. We're going to gonna break the 3 hour mark today. Okay. So again, we're not looking for all this data here. Um... I guess we're going to say if it has entity type item we're not interested in for right now. Um, nope, actually it's going to be returned. Okay, so let's see what we have left here that might be of some use to us. Why are we getting bad string? I think we decided not we're not going to do that. Oh, yes we are. Okay, so why, why does this string... Because of Indonesia. I'll bet you anything is because of Indonesia. Um, oh, I guess actually here we could stop for right now. Because we're not interested in parsing it yet. We're just actually interested in seeing which strings come up for parsing. Okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Um. Okay, so spur is the thing we get in. All right, now let's see what this does. Oh, much better. Um, the only thing I'm thinking here is because of. Um, Indonesia, which is also ID. Yeah. So we could insist that our IDs not be these weird things either. So we could insist that our IDs be... Uh, has to be ID, colon, question mark. For right now, I think Q is going to be fine here. Some number of digits like that. So that should limit us to even fewer things. Um, language EN. So the language EN is kind of uh, messing us up here a little bit. Um, are we actually counting where we break new lines? I'm hoping these are from different entities. Uh, let's see. Let's do that to see where we're getting our entity splits. Okay, that's a new entity. Um... Oh, here we are. Okay, so this is not too bad. Um, so this is something we can handle. Let's see what P31. <sighs> okay. So I guess the question is in the original um, fuck me file, how is P31... Stack type, Jesus fucking Christ. So is this thing in even inside of brace? It's inside of probably a huge brace. 
Okay, so let's see how this comes out over here. I mean, it obviously does. Um, do I still have the uh, array thingy going on here? I don't think I do. Um, yeah, we don't have anything to handle the arrays. So handle string. Oh. Let's see what's left after we do all that crap. Clearly not nothing. Oh no, it is nothing. Okay. So the question is, how do we get rid of... Or did we get rid of... Okay, one sec here. Or did we get rid of something? I mean, it looks like we somehow did get rid of a bunch of stuff inside of the raids. And I do not see how we are doing that. So, chop. If the whole thing is, that's, that's okay though. Okay, am I doing something in handle string that I'm not paying attention to? Um, okay, so the problem is I might not be catching something um, that would be inside of a brace but is not actually a P31 value. So, but in other words, um, something like this, oh, Wikibase Entity ID, so that may be the bad thing that I might, uh, no, okay, I think I cannot afford to ignore lines that have entity type in them, because that's where I'm going to get my P279s, okay. My P thirty ones, let's say. Okay. Okay, so maybe if the string has like this in it, we will return just the Q value. Okay. Um So right now we're returning nothingness. I think that is correct. Return. Let's go ahead and do this. Dollar sign one. So this way we won't get rid of the QIDs. Uh, and they will still kind of show up. Whoa! Um, yeah, we have to get rid of it. Okay. What is this done? Uh, database wiki item new, not quite there. Okay. I actually, I actually guess doing P31, so let's try that. Um, you know what? I think we can actually just return the string itself because we have actually plucked off the braces. Oh, actually, sorry. Um, this is the case where we don't want to return string. 
we can just say return stir. So this should actually make things quite a bit uglier. And so the only time we're going to debug string is if it has one of these magic phrases in it. Otherwise, we're just going to return it as is. Okay. That's uh, not really helping us. Okay, so we have determined this is stupid. Uh, let's see. I mean, the other possibility is instead of looking for, instead of breaking it up into braces and looking for it like that, we could... Now, obviously, we can't look at it from a... Um, uh, so, P31 colon, and then expect... Uh, da, 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 da. That whole thing is one thing. Okay, hang on. So, Jesus Christ, okay. P31. Colon. This starts the bright braces here. This ends the braces here. That is just hideous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the other the other possibility, of course, is applying um, JSON PP or JSON XS to this, and and looking at the output of that. Which is tremendously wasteful, but let's let's see what happens. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's not what we want. We want so JSON. What what is the thing we can use here? JSON reformat, JSON excess, and JSON verify. So JSON reformat. I wonder if any of these have. Um, they probably don't. Ooh. Um. Ooh, hang on, null as JSON, which just does nothing. Um, let's see, verbose, okay. I mean, as data dumper might actually be useful. And apparently it, it understands, um, Oh, pretty indent space before canonically. Let's see if we can get it to output in. Um, dumper. Let's see what that does. Okay, the issue here is going to be the whole thing is one big array, so this is not going to work. Um, but. Well, actually, I mean, the, the pretty fire isn't too bad. Oh, wait. Is it? So, JSON PP may be something that doesn't work. Because it, it tries to parse the whole thing as one big chunk. Oh, hang on. Oops. No, that's fine. Right? That is a... Okay. So, this really won't work. Although we could do it one line at a time. But let's see if one of them does it even without having to no. I think it was JSON reformat that doesn't even require that we um Yeah, there we go. Um okay. Okay, so now the question is, how do we, um, we could use the indent level, but I mean, okay. I guess we could read this until we got one complete 
item. How would we know that though? Because there is no, I guess it would be a um, end brace comma. No, that's not sufficient. Um, would it be tab end brace comma? Apparently not. Um, so I guess we should look for ID Q something else for the next, hang on, what, what was it? Okay, so the next ID Q, which is going to be like 40-something. Okay. Not... Let's do that again. Tab ID Q. Unless it's not a tab. Actually, that's two tabs, isn't it? But still. All right. Now, of course, we could use any one of these with one line at a time, which might be the way to do this. Uh, except that would mean calling a new program every time. So hang on. Let's see, Q42, so hang on, we did end it somewhere. Okay, hang on. Okay, so not that, not that, not that. So we're looking for ID, that's going to be like Q42 or something. Which actually might be the, um, the second entry here. 31 is Belgium. Lots and lots of lines here. I mean, what I could do here, and what I'm probably going to have to do here, is grep for ID and then see where the first place is that it looks like it's a reasonable, um, it's a reasonable change from this, Jesus effing Christ, 17,000 lines. Really? Twenty. We're still on one freaking thing. I has a sad. All right. So we're really looking for one that's far enough to the left. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we find it? We did. Q23 is the magic. So now we can just look for Q23 and see what the hell... Mm. Wait, is that too deep in? Oh, oops, I'm still doing the wrong thing. We need to look at Q23 now. So now we need to look at Q23 in the raw version. Um, so if we can trust last rev ID to be the last thing, that's one way of, of knowing we're at the end of this one. Um, and then, I mean, presumably... So the question there would be,
is the JSON this thing spits out um, Pomodoro time back in two and two. And we are almost back. Okay. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Um, let's go ahead and do this. If we can have this I mean, the, the weird thing here is um, we shouldn't have an issue. I mean, if Perl can't parse the original JSON, there's no reason it should be able to parse this reformatted JSON. But at the same time, you know, maybe. Um, I gotta be very careful here. I need to kill this process very quickly. Um, oh shit. And I think did I use up the disk space here? I did not. Um, and let's see how this might be too big. 500 megabytes. Um, alright, we can do this. Uh, and we, what we're looking for here, here is, um, Oh shit, what was it? 42? Um, oh, right, we're looking for last rev ID. Okay. And so that is, oh, give me line numbers, dude. I do want you to compute line numbers. Okay. Um, 55,000 
30. So let's just do head minus 60,000 of temp foo to temp bar. And I think that's small enough that I can Emacs it in. It's not super small, but... Um, okay. Um, so this we need to get rid of because that is actually uh, the array opener. And so this, from here on... This is should be a valid Java utterance. Now the question is, can Perl um, can Perl parse it? So we will we will see about that. And so the one line. I think it's Jason from just yeah. All right, and if it can't, then obviously uh, there's a more serious problem. If it can, it's just some weirdness with the um, with the formatting that it doesn't like. We might be able to fix that. Nope, it doesn't like it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, well, that's interesting. All right, now let's, this might have something here. Um, Okay, that made no sense whatsoever. Oh, 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 oh. Um, yes. Because it has new lines, we do need to do a read file on it. Which also means we don't need to feed it anything. It worked. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So whatever Jason PP does to it, or what, whatever the hell we use, Jason PP, uh, Pearl is comfortable with that. Now it's not Jason PP. What did we? What did we use? Um. Jason reformat. Let's make a note of that. Um. Of course, the question is, what the hell does JSON reformat do that um, that the original doesn't have? But this does work, and we could certainly pipe through to JSON format, but we need to figure out where our breaks are, where our line breaks are, which is not too bad, because we do it with last rev ID. Um... So now the question becomes, I think we tried this though. All right, let's see what this does. This time we're going to do a BZ cat. Um, that is not what I expected. Because mm, we are reading in a whole line. What am I? Oh shit. Yes, hang on. We do still need to get rid of. We still do need to get rid of the uh, line, the one line that is the one bracket that we can't handle. The rest of it should be okay. Okay, good. So Thunk is now. So all we've done is changed it by introducing a bunch of new lines to it.
Okay, hang on. Um, okay. That should actually not have... <sighs> okay, that's fine. The, um, the trailing comma we can get rid of. Um... I get the feeling this is not going to work, though. What? Okay, hang on. Um... It's not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that does. Um... Okay, now let's see what this does. Why? I could have sworn we tried that earlier and it didn't work. Okay. Um... We did this before, it didn't work. Am I BZ catting from the wrong file? Nope. Okay. Took a long time to get there. I'm going to go ahead and BC get this and then clean it up a lot. And I'm also going to make sure that it, uh, after now that I've pushed it, let's go ahead and do this. Um, maybe I needed both. Oh, because the new line may have existed with some spaces after it. Okay. Okay, the comma, not the command. Uh, and then, my JSON. That should work. Actually, it'd be nice to actually print out what it is. And then next. So this should give us quite a few hashes. Yeah. I don't know why I have the L there, but that should have been a colon, I think. Okay, let me go ahead and push this now. Okay. Okay. And now we should be able to do what it is I wanted to do, which is um, debug the whole thing, which I think, was this it? I know debugging the thing by itself isn't going to do anything, but... Um, strange. Um, yeah, let's do this. And we should, so maybe I think we went in a circle there. I think getting rid of the comma at the end only works if you also get rid of the new line because the last character in the um, string is not actually the comma, it's the new line. That's my guess. You get the feeling we did this in a different way earlier, but okay, we'll, we'll do this. Um, and we will definitely say, okay, we're going to ignore that line. Or new object or whatever, but okay, let's see what this does. Now I think we're cooking with chutney here. Okay. Well, literally the same thing we had before. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. We 
We have no buff. Where the hell did buff come from? So was that the problem the whole time? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Hang on. Now I'm sort of curious to see whether or not... Oh, we didn't actually change anything, did we? We literally just got rid of the comma at the end. Okay. I get the feeling I messed something up much, much bigger earlier. Okay. So now we're back in business. Um, so now we know how to do our claims for uh, P, P279 and P31. Okay, good stuff. And, wow, we went through a lot of crap there. Thinking that the Perl JSON function didn't work when it was really just a formatting error. So we suck. I suck. Okay. Um, okay, so these are, this is fine. These are all the claims. So I guess the thing we're looking for now is how do we get the name for this thing? How do we know that it's Belgium? Belguium. Pretty sure it's like this, isn't it? Is it actually spelled differently in their own country? Okay. So it's not going to be site links. It's going to be... Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... EN's going to be involved somehow. Uh, aliases. Kingdom of Belgium. Okay. Or Bell or BE. Um, let's see if there's a something other than aliases, if we can get it in. Ooh. Um, name, label, anything like that? Here we go. Labels in English. some reason, though, it doesn't think there's any English labels. There we are. No. Okay, let's do this. I think, are we still stopping after the first one? Let's go ahead and stop after the first one for right now. So we can... Alias is AK, Kingdom of Belgium. So alias is not what we really want. We want and claims, okay, no. Okay, so I think it is labels that we want. Labels, um, EN value. So let's see how we got to all of this good stuff here. Okay, that's definitely going too far. Okay. Wow. Now the only time, oh, this is not, yeah, that's not good, okay. Um, all right, let's see what this does. Nice. And now all we need is the, um, so this is going pretty well, my 279. Yep, 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 yep. Um, we don't need to debug this anymore. And we don't need to... Okay, and we don't have an object ID though. 
and so I think there's code below Pomodoro time, not going to take it. So that was actually not the thing we wanted out of all of this, um, because we'd found a way to get that from the um, um, from the from the Wikibase uh, query page. So really, what the whole point of this was, of course, to get the name. So let's see if we can um, we can achieve that. Okay. Um, and apparently I've forgotten how to do that, but that's okay, because we have this. Um, so I think it's name en value. Whoa. Oh, that's right. The uh, braces have a special meaning to this. Oh, it's label, isn't it? It's label. bulls. Okay. Now this is where we're going to get into a little bit of a problem if it doesn't, oh, actually we already have that up there. If this doesn't, if there's no English name, we kind of have to, um, we need something, another way to identify this. Okay, and the thing we want to print here would be ID name name. Let's see how that goes. If this works, I am going to go ahead and um, and GitHub it. We need to improve this though slightly. Okay, not cool. Go ahead and BC getify this. Mm. Okay. So now we need to worry about things that don't have an English name. And let's see if we can find one. Mm. So let's see, if th I, there's probably going to be nothing um, early on that has no name. This is going to take a while before we see something with no name in it. But okay, let, now obviously this is going to take forever to run. Um, and it's going to run faster on another machine. So I'm going to go ahead and set this running now. Um, don't know how many objects there are in um, Wikidata, but it's it's in the it's in the tens of millions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this over here. Um, and let me go ahead and put this over here. Do some shit. Uh, latest all JSON into BC. Um, Wikidata from dump. 
and let's make sure it's looking okay to begin with. Oh, I don't even need to less it because it goes so slowly. Yeah, this looks like we're doing okay. Uh, and then we can check for like where names are nulled or something. So for each object, we are getting a few lines of data, but it's not enough to worry me. Um, and because we know the first two fields are always going to be one word each, we know the rest of the line is the um, is the name or whatever. I mean, for one for names, the name can be more than one character. Okay. Um, Names P31, P279, dot text, put it in the background, and we're in business. Well, we're not in business because it hasn't done anything yet, but, uh, but hopefully we will be in business very shortly. Wide character in print. Okay. We're up to Q1201, by the way. Uh, okay, now we're double that. Um, there's a couple of things it doesn't like, a couple of wide characters it doesn't like, but I think it's handling it okay. Okay, so we've done quite a bit of, uh, we've beaten the system quite a bit here, beaten ourselves quite a bit here. Um, so our next goal here is going to be uh, using all this data um, to find out the list of all animals and, and with names. Uh, and it's still not going to be super easy because we have like named animals and we have animals that are generic. So we, you know, a horse is generic, Horus, no, Bob is a name. Thank you for watching the stream. If no one did, but thank you for watching it on YouTube and good night for now. Goodbye for now. Probably not coming back today. <laughs>